Hi everyone, welcome you all. So in this video, I am going to explain about uh, exceptions in Python. So let's get started. So what is an exception? So before understanding what is an exception, uh, let's uh, understand what is an error in the programming. So there are very uh, there are two terms which are very popularly known by people. What is uh, error? One is error. The other one is an exception. One is error. The other one is an exception. Now let us understand the basic difference between error and exception. So error is a programming mistake. An error is a programming mistake. So for example, I am writing some program, right? And somewhere in some line, I miss put a single quotations, or some somehow I have put uh, I have forgot to put some double quotations, or somehow I have given some wrong indentation, right? So they are comes under the errors. They are comes under the one category that's called as syntax errors. Because as per the Python, we have not followed proper syntax. So those kind of statements will throw an error that comes under the syntax errors. And there is one more kind of error. Suppose we will write a program and the program will execute perfectly right. And it will when providing the input, it will also give the output. So there is no mistakes in a program, but whatever output we are getting is that is incorrect. So for example, when I write a program like adding of two numbers, let us pass two plus three. So uh, what my expectation is it should return 5. So instead of return 5, it's giving some minus 5 or 10. It is giving an output, but it, the output is incorrect. So here this is not a programming error, but there is some logical issue in this program, right? So this are comes under the logical error, logical error. So the programming logic is incorrect. So there are two kinds of errors we have in programming. One is called as a syntax error. The other one is a logical error. And these two errors are related to programming mistakes. Okay, we can fix them in the programming itself. And apart from this error, there is another kind of issue called as an exception. So exception is basically occurs based upon the user input. Okay, so error is belongs to programming. Suppose if you miss some mistake or if you miss some double quotation or single quotation or intendation, it will causing the syntax error. And if you return the logic incorrect, that will causing the logical issue, logical error. But when you come to the exception, it is not a syntactical error. It is also not a logical error. And based upon the user input, it will throw an exception. Okay, suppose the user input is an invalid and then it will throw an exception. So for example, when I take a number, let's say number is equal to 10, right? So this number is divided by two, it will produce five. So this is perfectly right. And suppose the user is, uh, I've allowed, uh, I've asked user to provide some number, okay? And for example, he provided 10 comma two, and it will say five is a not perfectly right. And suppose when I say five comma two, it returns one. This is also perfectly right. Suppose user is provided 10 comma zero, Right, what this will provide, this will causing the infinity, right? So this here, it will throw an exception. Any number which divided by zero will produce infinite. So these kind of uh, user input will causing the exceptions. Okay, so this is one example for exception. So errors are occurred based because of programming mistakes and uh, exceptions are occurred based upon the invalid user input, all right? Now, okay, so when we got an exception, so what is the problem with that exception? So what is a, what is a, uh, what is, a, what, how the exception will affect your program? Suppose when I write a program, okay, let's say I have written 10 lines of code, there is some statement which is causing the uh, exception, okay? And because of this exception, our program will immediately terminate and rest of the statements will not be executed. Okay, that is the biggest problem in exception. So here we can call exception is an abnormal condition and it is an event that will disturb your normal flow of the program. That will disturb your normal flow of the program. That's called as an exception. All right, but now as a user, still I get some exception. I can handle this and I want to continue the rest of the code. Okay, so how we can do that? So that the concept is called as exception handling. Exception is an abnormal condition as an event which will causing based upon the invalid user input. And once exception occurs, our program will be immediately terminate and rest of the statements will not be executed. Now still, if you want to continue the rest of the statement, I don't want to 
interrupt the program in the middle and then I can go and catch that exception. That means I should able to handle this exception and should continue the rest of the code. So this can be achieved in Python by using uh, try and accept block. There are multiple statements we can have like try, accept, else and finally. So by using these keywords, we can handle the exception. Now here I have shown you a uh, very simple examples for exceptions. For example, a number divided by zero, which will causing the zero division error. So in Python also, every exception will be treated as an error itself. Okay, so zero division error. And suppose here I have a, one more statement. I have S is a, a variable which doesn't have any value, but still I'm trying to find length of this particular variable. So we don't have any value in this variable, but still I'm trying to find a length. So it will give some attribute error. This is also kind of a exception. Okay, so all exceptions will be considered as an error in Python language. So if we go for Java or other programming languages, there is exception is different. But in Python, all exceptions will be considered as an error. Okay, now let us see uh, practically how uh, we can reproduce the exception and then we can how we can handle that exception. We'll see programmatically. Now let's go to PyCharm. So here I'm going to create a simple uh, program. Go to Py uh, Python file here and name it as a exceptions. Okay. Now here what I can do is let's see. I'll just print uh, some message, right? So print here. I will just say program is started. Program is started. And after that, see this. So I will just say print 10 divided by zero. And after that, again, I'll repeat the same statement. So program is completed. Okay, see this particular program, what happens? So when I run this code, run this code, now it is causing that exception, all right? So line number three causing that exceptions. This statement is causing that exception. So what exception it's thrown is zero division error. Zero division error. It throws zero division error exception. So what happens because of the exception, the first statement is executed. So program is started. That means we are getting the output for the first statement. But because of these exceptions, we are not getting the output of the last statement. Right? That means the program is terminated immediately here as soon as it throws an exception. Okay, this is a simple example for a, a program without having any without having any try except. So we are not handle any exception in this program. And this statement is causing that exception. All right. Now I'll show you how we can handle this exception in Python by using try except. Okay, so there is uh, a block of statements we can use in Python. Using that, we can handle this exception. So whichever statement is causing that exception, that statement we need to put under a try block. So the syntax will be like this: try semicolon, and here we need to keep the statement. After that, followed by accept. Accept and here we need to specify what kind of exception it will throw, colon, and here recovery steps. Okay, so this is a syntax of handling the exception. Now I'll show you how we can handle this kind of exception. Now this is a statement is causing an exception, right? So now I will put that into try block, try colon, and here indentation must be there. On, give on tapes, uh, one tap space okay then this statement will be part of try block and then immediately i need to write a accept block don't forget this try is always followed by accept accept what kind of exception it thrown so we have to specify the same kind of exception this is the type of exception it is thrown zero division error right so this is an exception thrown now put the colon so if this statement is thrown this kind of exception now accept block will handle this now inside this what i can do is I will just write some message here a print here entered into accept block entered into ex accept block and handle exception handle exception okay now when this accept block statement will execute only this statement thrown an exception when I this statement thrown an exception and then accept block will be executed and then rest of the statement will be continued so that's the main purpose of using this exception. Okay, the program will not terminated unexpectedly. Okay, that's the main thing we need to achieve here. Now let's run this code one more time. So now we can see here program is started. We are getting this output. 
and this statement causing the uh, exception so that's the reason it is entered into accept block and here whatever we have written the statement inside the accept block it is printed so entered into accept block handle exception and finally it is proceeded with the rest of the statement right but we haven't seen anywhere the program is terminated all right so this is how we need to handle the exception so this is an example of handling the exception with try and accept block try and accept block okay and uh, sometimes uh, suppose if this exception is not thrown any error or any exceptions now what happens and if this statement is not thrown in exception obviously accept block will not be executed and it will directly come to the last statement so accept block will be executed only if the statement thrown an exception suppose when i say 10 slash 5 it will produce zero as an output so there is no exception at all so accept block will be just ignored now when i run this code now you can see here program is started you are getting the output perfectly 2.0 is an output and program is completed so here this time we haven't entered into the accept block we haven't entered into the accept block all right so this is a different type of uh, this is another combination of using this suppose if the try block statement is thrown an exception accept block will execute if the try block statement is not thrown in exception so accept block will be ignored okay so i'll show you one more case so for example this statement throw an error or throw an exception but accept block has specified one more type of exception okay so for example here i will just say one more type of exception let's say type error this is another kind of exception okay now this statement will throw zero division error whereas except will trigger whenever this statement thrown type error but both are different kind of exceptions right in that case what happens is now let's run this code now you can see here program is started and it is giving output perfectly and uh, except block is not executed because this statement is not throwing any exception right so let me just make uh, throw some exception here. I'll make it as a zero now. Now what happened? This statement will throw an exception, and accept block, accept block will catch that exception. Is it catch that exception or not? This time it will not catch it because the statement will throw zero division error, and here we specify type error. Both are different, right? So this statement will throw an exception, but accept block is cannot handle that exception. So still we have a chance to get an exception. Now we can run this code. Now you can see first statement is executed, but the same line is thrown an exception because except block is not here handle that exception. So it is terminated here itself. And the last statement we are not getting an output. Okay. So this is how we need to handle the statement by using try and accept block. All right. And sometimes uh, we can also specify multiple accept blocks. Okay, multiple accept block. For example, here one of the accept one is a accept block here. I can specify one more accept, accept, and this time I will specify exact right exception here. Accept zero division error, and now here I will print the same thing. So entered into the exception block handle, and here type error exception. I will just say type error exception, and here handle zero division error, zero division error zero zero okay now you can see here at one try block this statement will throw an exception but there are multiple accept blocks we have this is one block and this is one more block and which block statement will be executed so based upon the exception it will go and check one by one so first it will check accept block type error if it is not matched then it will come to the next except here it is matched now it will enter into this particular block and it will not terminate the program rest of the statements will be continued now when i run this code now we can see here enter into the accept block handle zero division now the second accept block is executed all right so for one try block we can also have multiple accept block multiple accept block and now i will also show you one more syntax okay so here we have seen so far try and accept block and the try block we can specify the statement which are causing that exception and accept block we have to specify the statement which are uh, remedy step or recovery steps now sometimes uh, we have uh, multiple blocks uh, we have seen just now try and accept so along with this accept blocks we can also specify else or finally blocks 
okay else or finally blocks so i'll show you what is else and finally block so in the same example okay so they have specified two exceptions right so along with this i will also specify one more called else block else okay colon so here i will print one more message so here enter into else block enter into else block some message i have created okay now observe this when this else block will be executed okay now see this first scenario in this particular scenario one of these exceptions will be matched right so the second exception will be exactly matched for this exception now when i run this code what is giving program is started exception in the except blocks handle zero division so that means it is able to handle that exception okay if it is handle that exception what happens else block is not executed and finally the rest of the statements are completed so what we understood based on this suppose if the statement thrown an exception and one of the except block is handled then else block will not be executed so when the else block will execute if none of the except blocks are not matched and finally else block will be executed okay so for example uh, here i say zero zero division error right so instead of this i will specify one more exception let us say i'll say syntax error okay so type error and syntax error but this statement will throw some different exception and that exception will not match with these two types of exceptions and then what happens finally else block will be executed it is just like a if else statement okay if none of the except blocks have not handled this exception finally it will enter into the else block but else block will not handle any kind of exception remember this else block will not handle any kind of exception it is just additional block which we can write if these exception blocks are not matched okay now when i run this code now we can see here so the first statement output is printed program is started and then none of the statements none of the blocks are not uh, able to handle that exception but still the else block is executed now when i see here entered into the else block we have written right so if you observe here program is started zero division error division by zero it should print some message here just a moment okay here a small issue so when this else block will be executed means so suppose if the statement is not throwing any exception so this is a complete opposite of this see this okay i have specified the statement in the try blocks and this statement is not thrown any exception that means none of the uh, exception blocks none of the except blocks are not executed and then else block will be executed okay this is the right scenario so else block will be executed only if this statement not thrown any exception if this try statement thrown an exception except block will be executed if this statement is thrown an exception this except block will be executed if this statement not thrown an exception if there are two conditions here let me write the so first suppose will throw an exception throw an exception if exception throws what happens so except block will be executed except block will be executed okay in that case else part will not execute this is a one case this is your case one and the case two is case two is case two is okay it's not thrown any exception okay it's not thrown any exception not thrown in exception if it is not thrown in exception what happens no there is no need of except block to handle that exception and then else block will be executed okay the second case else block will be executed okay and first case is thrown an exception okay thrown an exception none of the except block is uh, okay suppose one of the except block is handle that exception then else will not come and if this statement thrown an exception and uh, none of the except block is not match still we got an exception else block will not executed when this else block will executed if this statement not thrown any exception and then else block will be executed 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 only if the statement if the statement not thrown any exception okay this is a condition now 10 slash 5 is not thrown any exception so none of the except statement will not match so finally else block will be executed now when i run this finally block is executed so entered into the else block sorry it is else block 
okay so this is a one scenario and along with this we have also one more uh, we have that is called finally block finally block so finally block will always execute even that exception occurred or not occurred or exception is handled not handled doesn't matter finally block is always execute okay so here i will write c now print and uh, entered into finally block enter into the final block so always the finally block will execute now let us see a multiple scenarios one by one okay so here so this is an exception okay uh, this is this is a statement which is not throwing an exception first and what does it mean not throwing the exception means which block will execute here except it will not execute only else block will execute and finally will execute now i'll write all the cases case 1 okay case one is exception occurred and what are all blocks will be executed suppose this is thrown an exception what are all blocks will be executed and exception occurred and i will say one proper uh, error here let us see so zero division error okay all right so now observe this so this statement uh, thrown an exception first let us say positive case so this statement Thrown an exception. Exception occurred. Now, what all blocks will be executed immediately? Except will be handled. So, exception will be handled. So, immediately, except will execute. Means the except block will execute. And after that, second except will be skipped and else will not execute. Finally, should execute. Finally, will execute. This is a one combination. So, if exception occurred, exception is handled, then finally executed. Now, when I run this, so program is started. so handle that exception okay handle this is a not type error this is a division error okay zero div error and then what happens ended into finally block so finally block is executed and finally program is completed this is one scenario one case now i'll show you one more case finally will always will execute okay second case so exception occurred but not handled but not handled now which blocks will be executed so exception occur the statement will exception will occur not handle that means i make this as a type error so now this thrown exception first to except will not match second except will not match so none of the except statements not handled now which statement will be executed directly it will throw an exception but still finally block will execute but else block will not execute because else block will execute only if the statement is not thrown an exception right but here exception will occur so that means not handled by any except block and finally will execute so this is the second case now run this so here you can see final will be executed entered into the finally block okay this is a one combination now go one more combination case 3 so exception exception not occurred exception is not occurred means it will not handle not occurred means no escape right so no except exception is not occurred means exception except block will not be executed right and which blocks will execute directly if the exceptions are not occurred here else block will execute and parallelly followed by the finally block also will be executed no except block will execute here uh, else block will be executed and also finally will be also executed there's a third case now when i run this course now we can see here program is started entered into the finally block and else block should also be executed so where is the else block executed here we put the entered into the else block right program entered into the finally block so there is no else block i guess uh, else block will not be executed okay so else block will be executed only if this uh, exception this statement not occurred exception any thrown an exception so exception not occurred no exception occurs so here else will not be executed when if the final is there else will not be executed but when the else will be executed in only one case else will be executed case 4 exception not occur okay and and then no no except no except and there should not be any finally block and then else block will be executed and there should not be any finally block okay now i'll remove this and then this time else block will be executed because this will not thrown an exception okay exception is not thrown now what happens is if the exception is not thrown else block should execute and finally final block anyway we don't have i think we 
need to put this one. Let me have the final block. So when this else block will execute, if I don't have an exception, then else block will be executed. Now 10 divided by 2, I have seen. Okay, this will not throw any exception, so except will not handle. So what happens? Else block will execute and followed by so here the third class exception not occur. That means no accept method here else will execute and finally will also execute. Let us see the third case one more time. Okay, we have done small mistake here because we haven't changed this exception a statement. So 10 divided by 2 now. So it will throw an exception. So none of the accept block will handle. That means else block will execute. Okay, so because this is not thrown any exception, then only else block will execute, followed by finally block also. Now run this code. Now you can see program started. We are getting output else block executed, finally block executed, and also completed. Finally. This is a third case. I'll show you a fourth case. Exception not occur, no exception, and else block will anyway will execute it. The above also else block is executed. So case four is not necessary here. So only three cases. Okay, exception occur. That means the exception is handled, so finally block is executed. Exception is occurred, not handled by any exception, still finally executed, but else is not executed. Exception not occurred, exception no exception handled, so else block will execute, followed by finally also execute. So this is how the multiple blocks will work in exception handling in Python. Okay. So here statements under the else class run only when no exception is raised. And statements in the final block will run every time no matter exception occur or doesn't occur so finally block will always execute else block will execute only if the statement not thrown any exception okay so remember this is called multi except block so this is the example just now we have seen okay so this is how we need to handle the exceptions in Python and one more topic we are going to discuss rising in exceptions sometimes we can also rise our own exceptions Okay, so let's see one example how to raise our own exceptions. So here I'm going to create one more program. See you here. I will just create one method. Let me just write a small method. So here I have created one method called enter age and it will take one parameter called age. If the age is less than zero, I want to rise. Rise is a keyword which we can use it to rise an exception. So what kind of error value error and this is the name of the uh, some description only positive integers are allowed this message. I will throw I will raise this exception and suppose one more condition I put here if age percentage to equal to zero age is even else age is odd and Here I have just created one function and I'll, I'll pass the age value here if age is less than zero This function will throw in an exception Okay, right. So now let us see how we can handle how we can this is your uh, own exception. We are raising our own exception. If the condition is not matched, we are raising our own exceptions, right? So when this exception will occur now, we have to write code like this. So I will write number is equal to let us say zero. Okay. Now I call this function entered age while passing the zero as an output. Okay, zero as a parameter. Oh, sorry, num as a parameter. Now what happens is we are passing zero to this function. All right, so the first condition if condition will match and it will throw this exception. All right, so now let us run this code. So age is even. So why it is age is even because it's not match the condition. Okay, zero means uh, zero less than zero. The condition is false. It's not thrown any exception. So let us use this exception in try catch block. Okay, so num is equal to zero. I'll just say num. So what I will do is I will just put these two statements in try block. Try right so now here num zero and then I am calling this function only this exception will get if this statement will include in the try block now so this statement will throw in an exception later now I'll write except block except and what kind of error we specified value error right except a value error now if this is a value error then I will write some message here only positive integers are allowed and I will write one more except something is wrong. Okay, so now I have just created one function, okay, which will take age as a parameter. If the age value is less than zero, it will throw an exception. That is our user defined exception. We have created our own exception. So value error, right? 
and uh, now here this statement i am passing the num value 0 so what happens now here it will check the first condition if 0 less than 0 so 0 is less than 0 or condition is false so this condition will not occur and it will go to the next condition and age is even it is printed so something like this now when i run this code age is even this is perfectly right because we are passing 0 first condition is not matched and second condition is matched so even is printed suppose when I say here minus 5, okay, minus 5, and now what happens? So when I run this code, so what is saying only positive integers are allowed. So it will throw an exception. If I don't put this code inside the try except block, it will throw an exception. But we are handling this exception. If this exception, if this statement is thrown as a value error, uh, we are printing some message only positive integers allowed in the except block. So the same thing is mentioned here. Okay, suppose if I don't specify any try block, what happens? Okay, now I'll write like this. I'll just say only number is equal to zero or number is equal to minus one. And then I will call enter age of num. Okay, now you can see this statement will causing an exception. So what is an exception? Value error, right? So that's the reason we need to keep that into try block and then write the exception. So if this statement is thrown in error, uh, exception, the except block will handle it. And I have written two except blocks, either one, this one or this one. So one of them will be executed. Okay, this is how we can rise our own exception. Okay, and uh, we can also use exceptions objects. The one more concept we have using exception objects. So sometimes uh, uh, we specify this except block, the only the exception name, right? And we can create one object reference variable for this exception. And if you want to print that uh, exception name, you can print it here like this. Now I'll show you one more example here. So here I will just write one statement. Let's say try. And inside this, I will create a one variable. Let's say number. I will make it as a one. So this is invalid actually. I'll show you because this will treat it as a string. We have to put in a single course or double course, right? So I'll just say print uh, the number is the number is I will just say the number is the number is and comma I will print uh, I will just pass this number here okay I'll just pass a number here so number is equal to one so print the number is I'm printing this number so what happened this will throw some exception right so obviously we throw exception because this is not correct so immediately I will write one except so what error it will throw on? A name error it will throw. So let us see. When I run this code, okay, it will throw uh, unexpected, unexpected intent. Intent is not correct. Now let's put like this. Okay, now run this code. So what it is giving? Name error, right? So now what I will do is I will put them both of you in try block. Okay, this is your try block. Now put here. And now I'll handle this name error exception. So here, accept, accept, and this is a name error. Name error as I will reference, I will put some reference variable here, some ex or some e. This is your reference variable of that particular exception. Now here we can just print that value. So let's say print, print, and exception is, exception is, just say e here. Okay. So what happened now except name error as ex or e and inside this except I just printed exception is ex or e is a reference variable. Okay, now let us run this. So what is giving name error as name error as ex is giving us something wrong. Let us verify this. Okay, so it is small intended space. If you have space like this, it will not work. Okay, it should be followed by try. Now, accept name error as ex, and then we are printing the ex value here. Now, when I run this code, you will get exception name. So, same thing. So, this is a printing, the number is number, right? This is throwing an exception basically. Immediately, name error except will handle that exception and it is printed here. So, the what is printed exception is ex. Exception is name one is not defined so this is actual uh, exception name okay so like this we can also use exception objects right so that's all for exception handling in python so thanks for watching this video so please subscribe to my channel to get more updates on this
Thank you.